Some of the biggest names in jazz will be in Hampton this weekend, taking part in the Cool Jazz Festival. The first performance kicks off at 7.30 tonight at Hampton Institute's Ogden Hall. Our Kathleen Bachman is here live with a report on the preparations for the festival, as well as a special guest who's performing there tonight. Kathleen? Yes, Diane. Behind me in Ogden Hall right now, there's a beehive of activity as people are getting ready the lighting and sound systems for tonight's performance. They took an unusual combination of private enterprise, city government, and college cooperation to bring about this festival. It's the 13th year that they have consistently attracted some of the great artists. The list reads like a who's who of the jazz world. Names like Dizzy Gillespie and Duke Ellington, Ray Charles, Smokey Robinson and B.B. King. All have been standard fare here. And this year we'll see Count Basie, George Benson, Sarah Vaughn, Herbie Mann. will all be returning. They have been here before, but uh, one of the people who have not been here before is Woody Shaw. He's with me today. He's uh, been described as one of the brilliant soloists in the jazz business. Uh, you're going to be appearing tonight with your quintet, and who else? That's right. I'm going to be appearing uh, just prior to the performance of Betty Carter, the great song stylist. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, your quintet has been described as one of the strongest, most compelling jazz combos in the business. Um, what is your secret of pulling together some of the best people in the business? Well, I try to stay abreast of the up and coming young instrumentalists and talent coming up today. And uh, I always look for a young musician that I think I can teach and shape so he, is, he can express himself through interpreting my music. You know, so it's uh, very tricky for the leader to bring out the hidden talent in a young musician. That's, I th that's why I think I have one of the best young bands around today. How do you describe jazz to someone who is just really not into it? Jazz is American classical music. It comes from right here. It takes a certain intellect to listen to the music, but it's got soul too, you know? It's creative music that comes from America, and we like to think of it as American classical music. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not been commercially popular, though. Uh, why not? Well, in recent times, with the whole crossover fusion movement with mm -hmm. people like Chick Corea, Herbie Hancock, who I used to play with in New York mm -hmm. City, by the way, uh, the younger people are starting to develop the uh, keen cerebral interest for the music. Mm -hmm. You know, they leave the electronic stage of rock and pop and disco, and when they get a little older, they more or less uh, graduate to jazz now. So you're saying it's a more mature kind of uh, music? That's right. But does commercial success dilute the quality of what you're doing? Well, it depends on the way you look at it. I think if any music stops being cre creative, then it, it, it loses everything, you know? But I think especially jazz has been proven by the whole fusion and crossover movement and the mainstream music, and, and, and the, uh, excuse me, the mainstream movement that the whole electronic crossover movement can be fused with the mainstream uh, music called jazz. It's all American music, you know? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Diane? 